Did you listen, my dear Heavenly Mother, when I was asked whether I venerated, whether I loved you? O、oh, my Mother, just as it is impossible for me not to love my Savior, so it is impossible not to love you, my marvelously beautiful Mother, you who have given him to me. You alone know the sadness of my heart for not having loved you always more fervently. But still, how abundantly you have compensated my slight affection. O most gracious and merciful Queen of Heaven, I should not love you. Ardently do I love you. And yet I desire to be able to love you a thousand times more. Who besides my Savior has done what you have done for me? To your intercession only I owe my happiness. O、oh, my sweet mother, I should not love you. Who then has taught me to believe, taught me to pray, taught me to live? It was you, my heavenly queen. You have condescended to prepare my soul for our son, my divine redeemer. Do you remember still, my dearest mother, how you made me say that first Ave, and how you then taught me to adore the divine heart of Jesus? Yes, through devotion to the divine heart, you first taught me to really know, venerate, and love my Savior. Indeed, it seems to me as though for thirty years I had never known what it means to love Jesus, as though I had never or very little known Him. I owe all to you, my sweet mother. Beneath the cross, my Savior gave me to you, and before the tabernacle, you gave Him to me. In Him you have given me all. Through you my Savior has become my brother. Through you He has become my Redeemer. For you have given Him my nature, which enabled Him to redeem me. O、oh, my wondrously glorious Mother, I should not love you. All things are possible. This, however, is impossible. For constantly, by day and by night, you govern. Guide and direct me. You seek to prevent me from falling, and teach me joyfully to carry every cross. O、oh, my wondrously beautiful mother, and I should not love you. Ardently, do I love you.